The Rifleman aired in black and white on ABC, premiering September 30th, 1958, and it ran until April 8th, 1963. 168 episodes were made by production company Four Star Television, and throughout that impressive run, it gave American audiences a few firsts. Most notably, it was the first primetime television series to depict a single parent raising a child. The Rifleman boasted a killer cast that breathed life into the now classic series. Sadly, it's been more than a half a century since the series ended. Not surprisingly, the majority of the cast are no longer with us. In this video, we'll take a look at all the actors featured on The Rifleman who have passed away in the 59 years since it ended its original run. Chuck Connors Born Kevin Joseph Aloysius Connors on April 10, 1921 in Brooklyn, Chuck was the older child of two born to Irish immigrants, Albin and Marcella Connors. Growing up, Connors was a devout fan of the Brooklyn Dodgers, even though they didn't have the best record during the 30s. One day, he hoped he'd be able to play for the team. He was always a talented athlete. Having graduated from Adelphi Academy Prep School in Brooklyn, he received several athletic scholarship offers for more than two dozen universities. After selecting Seton Hall University in New Jersey, he played both baseball and basketball for the team. After two years, he left Seton Hall to accept a contract to play pro baseball. He played for a couple of minor league teams and then joined the Army after America entered World War II. Throughout the war, he served as a tank warfare instructor at a military base in Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Later, he served at the prestigious West Point in his home state of New York. After being discharged from the military at 46, Connors joined the Boston Celtics. He played 53 games with the team before leaving early in the 1947-48 season. He decided to shift gears and focus on acting. After being spotted by an MGM casting director in 1952, he was given a role in the film Pat and Mike, playing a police captain. A year later, he had a role in South Sea Woman alongside Burt Lancaster. Later that year, he played a football coach opposite Western veteran John Wayne in the movie Trouble Along the Way. His TV career began in 1955 when he appeared in an episode of Adventures in Superman. For the next several years, he made several guest appearances in a handful of TV shows. And in 1957, he was given the role of Burn Sanderson in the Walt Disney film Old Yeller. As a character actor, Connors appeared in films like Airplane 2 and The Big Country. On TV, he made appearances in shows like Wagon Train, Here's Lucy, Gunsmoke, and The Loretta Young Show. His best-known acting role, however, was that of Lucas McCain in The Rifleman. After his five-year run on that program, Connors found himself typecast for playing the single-parent rancher from the Old Wild West. While he never was able to achieve the same kind of fame he enjoyed while on The Rifleman, Connors did manage to land several memorable roles until his retirement in 1991, most notably playing a slave owner in the 1977 miniseries Roots, a role that earned him an Emmy Award. He's also remembered for his role as Fielding in the dystopian thriller Soylent Green. Connors died of lung cancer November 10, 1992 in Los Angeles. He was 71. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about the cast of The Rifleman. Johnny Crawford Kicking off his career in the entertainment industry as a Mouseketeer, John Ernest Crawford, born on March 26, 1946, rose to fame playing Mark McCain on The Rifleman. For that role, he was nominated for a Best Supporting Actor Emmy when he was just 13. Crawford came from a family with deep ties to Hollywood. His father, Robert Crawford Sr., was nominated for an Emmy for film editing, while his brother, Robert Crawford Jr., received an Emmy nod for his work co-starring on the series Laramie. Because of his performance on The Rifleman, Crawford enjoyed wide popularity with teens in the U.S. during the late 50s and early 60s. He tapped into this fame by securing a recording contract with Delphi Records. He released four Billboard Top 40 hit singles, including Cindy's Birthday and Your Nose is Gonna Grow. Some of his other early notable roles include that of Jeff, Wilbur's next-door neighbor on Mr. Ed, and a Native American in the 1965 adventure film Indian Paint. After enlisting in the Army for two years, Crawford played a fugitive soldier on Hawaii 5-0. In 1970, he appeared in the Academy Award-winning film The Resurrection of Bronco Billy. For the next couple decades, he made numerous appearances on shows like SNL, Little House on the Prairie, and Murder, She Wrote. His final film role was playing the character William S. Hart in 2019's western Bill Tileman and the Outlaws. 
That same year, it was reported he'd been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. On April 29, 2021, he died at his home at age 75 after contracting COVID-19, coming down with pneumonia, and finally succumbing to the bitter ends of Alzheimer's. He had been the last surviving cast member of The Rifleman. Paul Fix Born March 13, 1901 in Dobbs Ferry, New York, Fix was a film and TV star who primarily worked in westerns. Throughout his decades-spanning career, he appeared in more than 100 films and countless TV shows. He was perhaps best known for his recurring role of Marshal Micah Torrance on The Rifleman. Fix's acting career began in the mid-20s when he appeared in a silent western film that starred William S. Hart. For the next 56 years, he predominantly appeared in movies and series in that genre. While he's best known for his acting work, he was also a screenwriter. A couple films he wrote the scripts for include 1954's Ring of Fear and 1958's The Notorious Monks. Fix died of kidney failure in L.A. at 82 on October 14, 1983. Bill Quinn Bill Quinn was born in 1912 and appeared in more than 150 roles over his seven-decade-spanning career. He got his start in showbiz in the 1920s, appearing in silent films. His last role was in 1989's Star Trek V The Final Frontier. Most people remember him best for playing Archie Bunker's blind friend, Mr. Van Rensselaer, in the endearingly popular sitcom All in the Family. But fans of The Rifleman remember him as Sweeney, the bartender. Quinn died of natural causes in Camarillo, California at age 81. Patricia Blair Born January 15, 1933, Blair was an actress most active during the 50s and 60s. She's perhaps best known for playing Rebecca Boone on NBC's Daniel Boone, but her second most noteworthy credit was playing Lou Mallory on The Rifleman. She appeared in 22 episodes. Blair passed away after a bout with breast cancer in her home in North Wildwood, New Jersey at the age of 80. Joe Higgins Joseph H. Higgins was born July 12, 1925, in Logansport, Indiana. He started acting when he was nine. After obtaining his doctorate in philosophy at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Cincinnati, Higgins started his acting career in 1960 when he landed the role of recurring character Nils Swanson, the blacksmith, on The Rifleman. He later played Jake Shakespeare in the American legal drama series Arrest and Trial. After retiring from acting, Higgins served as the spokesman for GE from 1976 to 82. In 1979, he was also invited to join the FBI's task force team. Higgins died in L.A. on June 15, 1998 from a heart attack. He was 72. The Remainder of the Supporting Cast Harlan Ward, who played John Hamilton, the president of North Fork Bank, died of non-communicable disease on March 13, 1980. Joan Taylor, who played Millie Scott, died of natural causes at age 82 on March 4, 2012 in Santa Monica. Hope Summers, who also played the general store owner later on in the series, died of congestive heart failure at 77 on June 22, 1979. John Harmon, who played hotel clerk Eddie Halstead, died August 6, 1985 from a stroke. He was 80. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character on The Rifleman? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.